ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So recently, The Breakfast Club was talking about uh, how 50 Cent is diabolical and, you know, 50 Cent has jokes and everything else. But before they were even talking about that, if you guys don't know Rick Ross and Meek Mill, they uh, they just dropped like a joint album or something together, and they only sold like 30,000 copies. And you know, it's really low, but again, you know, low album sales are to be expected in this day and age, because everybody streams, like this isn't 2005. So 50 Cent was making fun of them and basically saying, um, let me share my screen real quick so y'all can see this. You know, he, he keeps his foot on Rick Ross's neck, child. So 50 Cent, he took to his Instagram page and he says 31,009 first week. Um, so basically making fun of Meek Mill and Rick Ross's um, album sales. And so then Charlemagne talked about it on The Breakfast Club. And then 50 Cent took to the, you know, had a video talking about their sales. And then Rick Ross, of course, you know, his response is, I'm rich, look at my watch, I'm rich. So we're gonna go ahead and um, be entertained with this foolishness. Give me just a second to pull this up here while we watch. Is absolutely a diabolical genius. If you look up the word diabolical and the definition of diabolical is genius, then you know that is exactly what 50 Cent is. Do you know what diabolical means, Lauren? No, not by definition. Very evil, but often intelligent. I agree that that's 50. That's right. You're standing on business here. What shoes you got on? My, my flip flops. But, but, <laughs> but most cancers are that. You know what I'm saying? We're very sweet, very loving, and we care about our people, but we do hate as hard as we, we love. So leave, but, leave us alone. But, right? Your point was that he's doing things and moving business culture and all that stuff, and it goes over people's heads. Absolutely. Now, so, now I will say, uh, too, you know, Rick Ross is a mastermind as well. He's a master marketer. And you know why? Because every video he posts, he's promoting something. So even in that video, he's promoting. Bel Air. Mm -hmm. And 50 does that too, by the way. Because if you're going to go viral, add some value to it. So I respect uh, both those brothers. They all have different levels of genius. And I wish everybody could just play nice. That's what I wish. He called you kind of cute. He said no, was, he did he not. That's not what he, he said, said. He said what you he said, said was kind of cute. Yes, he ain't called me kind of cute. He said what, <laughs> I, he said what I said was kind of cute. Knock it off. You see what I'm saying? Let me show you 1,009 CDs. I shouldn't talk to you. Just got a DM say, Rose. We believe 50 Cent just made a comment about you online. I seen it and I said to mm, myself, y'all don't know 50 Cent like I do. He wouldn't do that. But one of his bitch dream chasers, she been a dream chaser bitch for many years, still is. That's when she told me I was her favorite. But two, nigga, we been rich. We still get money. Them niggas was laughing at my first week sales. They was doing a million the first week and I did 150, 180 and they was laughing, but Smell that salt water, right? Don't let them niggas trick you. Biggest. And something else I seen that I thought was actually kind of cute. Charlemagne referred to 50 Cent as a dime bomb genius. And me, you know, thinking the way I think of Charlemagne, he would know better than that. A diabolical genius doesn't file foreclosure, doesn't bother. Nigga just having a little fun. Get to the money. Did money make you diabolical? That's what make you diabolical, Charlotte. Stop dick riding. Hey, 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 hey. When you talk to Rose, just know my pinky 700. You heard me? You heard me? You heard me? You heard me? That's that McQueen. That's that purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. Okay, let bye. He's so corny. Get the fuck off of my screen. All right. Anyway, so after that went viral, right? After that went viral, 50 Cent came back with the super petty. Like, he's just not funny. He be trying to clap back, and he's just, he cannot read. Purple rain, purple, sir, shut up. He's just not funny. Like, his clapbacks don't be funny. I'm going to need somebody to write some clapbacks for Rick Ross. 
If he's not talking about cows in his front yard and barrels of hay, it's just like, sir, just, just stop. You're not the clapback king. So anyways, uh, 50 Cent at their Rick Ross, you know, clapback, sir. Uh, 50 Cent ended up posting this. Now, this is crazy. Because I almost forgot about this situation with, uh, with Rick Ross. Okay, so 50 Cent took to Instagram yesterday, and this went viral all over social media. So he posted 50 Cent's Diddy documentary um, proceeds to benefit sexual assault victims. <clears throat> he told TMZ that basically all the money that he's going to make from this documentary about Diddy, he is going to, you know, give the money to sexual assault victims. And then he posted this. Put a molly all up in her champagne and she ain't even know it. Took her home and I enjoyed that and she ain't even know it. And then he posted this picture of Rick Ross and Diddy, okay? And then he also posted this video of Mark Curry where he's talking about how Diddy was spiking women's alcohol. We used to go to the, when we go to the club, we used to have these bottles, right? And on this bottle, they'd be, they'd be regular Moet bottles. On them bottles right there, they'd been to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they'd be like, don't touch them bottles right there. Okay, we heard all that last week. So now, um, let me read to y'all the, the, what he had wrote on here. So then on his Instagram page, 50 writes, what the F? At some point, you got to just do the right thing. So, you know, just basically going in. Now, if you guys remember, I remember I did a video about this years ago. This is when Rick Ross got in so much trouble because um, it was the, the song was called You Ain't Know or something like that. And when he was talking about putting mollies in girls' champagne. And so everybody was saying that this is wrong. You're trying to encourage young men to, you know, to date rape women. And a lot of white women were like, that was like the final straw. Uh, they were boycotting him. This went very viral and he ended up losing his Reebok deal. So this was like a really, really big deal um, because back then you had a lot of girls um, suffering from date rape and people like, you know, slipping things in their drink. If you guys remember, I did a video years ago about that young girl called Jada and she went viral. The hashtag was Jada pose because some dudes had put something in her drink and they art her and then they had her posed on the ground like... I'm telling y'all, the internet of the early 2000s and 2010s wasn't shit, honey. And I think she was like 14. And it was all over Twitter. She had been assaulted. And they had her pose in like weird ways. And then people started making fun of her pose. It became a dance challenge. So we had the whole Jada pose thing going. Then you had Rick Ross talking about putting mollies in people's drinks. And everybody's favorite daddy, honey, little Boosie, he was talking about putting uh, mollies or ecstasy pills and people's booty holes it like i'm telling you the early 2010s on the internet was the wild wild west so you had boosie bragging about putting pills in people's booty holes and getting them high out their mind um it was just a mess but so it was just too much of the date rape culture right and so the white girls the white women they they had it and uh they got his reebok deal taken from him so for 50 Cent to bring this back was very, very, very petty because I even almost forgot about it. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think Rick Ross needs to just sit this one out, okay? I don't think, I mean, him and 50, they beefed like way back in like the early 2000s, like 2005 or something. They were beefing back and forth. 50 Cent got, um, what's his name? The the drug at gunplay, the cokehead. Um, he got gunplay's uh, chain snatch. Um, I think there was some type of shootout when they had a BT award, like in Miami. Like their beef got really, really crazy. This is like some early 2000s beef. It got really real. Uh, 50 Cent had Rick Ross's baby mama on Smooth Magazine, and then he released like a sex tape of his other baby mom. So yeah, they were beefing for a long time. And really their beef is what launched thisis50.com, if y'all don't know that T. So that's what really made him, you know, launch his own website. And he just trolled Rick Ross. So I, I don't think Rick Ross wants that smoke. I think he needs to just go enjoy his shiny watch and his liquor and mind his business and let 50 Cent do the documentary. Because I know he don't want 50 Cent to go in on him. So, yeah, the, the early 2000s was is really, really ugly. Um, so 50 Cent just bought all that back last night. So people were dragging Rick Ross on Twitter last night. You know, the new generation, when y'all find out something 
y'all drag and go off. And I'm like, this is literally like 10 years old, but go off children, go off. I'm here for it, okay? Cause that was a really sick line. There's nothing funny about date rape. There's nothing funny about slipping things in people's drinks and things like that. So um, I thought that was crazy he bought that up. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.